Plaza Cat. And this video, um, I'm going to explain to you why I don't have a personal savings account. Now, I got paid and I was sitting here wondering, should I at least have some cash stored away? Okay. And you guys know I'm into silver and gold and I've invested a lot of money. And now I'm sitting here wondering, should I park some of my cash in some type of savings account? Okay. And as for me, you know, I have a joint account with my wife. And we use that to, to spend for bills and going out, things like that. But for myself personally... And she has a personal account. And I'm sitting here wondering, should I get my own personal account? Okay. So, let me take a look at some calculations. Because remember, you guys, I, I am into the numbers. Okay. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a number cruncher. But I like to see the numbers. Okay. And today was payday. So, what was cool is that I got some money and I did buy some silver. Okay. So, let me calculate to you guys... Um, my interest, or should I say like the growth of my money invested in silver, one ounce of silver to be exact, versus all these other savings accounts in different banks. Okay, first, I have my calculator here. And what I did was that I bought silver at thirty-one ninety. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to subtract... The price as of now per ounce is thirty two thirty eight. So thirty two thirty eight. And I'm doing this slow because I'm actually looking at my camera and doing this. So forty eight cents. Okay. So I put forty eight cents. I want to get a percentage of change. Okay. So forty eight. For, yeah, forty eight cents divided by and I spent thirty five dollars. Okay. That was with uh, three dollars over spot. Okay, and then I get this number. I'm going to times it by 100 because I want a percentage. So in that change from this morning at around 9 o'clock, that's when I bought my silver, to now, I made a 1.37% increase on my investment of $35 for one ounce of silver and now what you see here before you are three websites three big banks I got Bank of America Wells Fargo and I got Chase so just to get a basic savings account the interest rate is 0.05% and they give that to you um, once a month so whatever you have in your account they're gonna add that by 0.05% and that's per month per day I made 1.37% okay so let's look at Wells Fargo they also have one a zero at 0.05% okay and that's part of their way to save savings and let me just show you that I'm actually there I have the symbols I kind of shrunk the windows okay so again they have 0.05 percent and you have chase okay they have 0.01 percent and again they adjust that every month and so it's such a big winner for for me to invest in silver but you have to understand something People always say, well, in a savings account, things don't go down. And I have this argument with people, and I said, you know what? Things do go down in your savings account. And a couple of things um, that bring down your savings is meeting all of their criteria. Okay, you have to have, let's say, for example, here, this one is Bank of America. You have to have a minimum balance of $300 per day. Okay, or you have to make some kind of monthly transfer of $25 or more. So they have these stipulations. And if you can't meet these stipulations, guess what? They're going to pull $5 out of your account. 
Same here with this is uh, Wells Fargo. And also here too in Chase, you can see account fees could reduce your earnings. And I tell people that because they sit there like, you don't have a personal savings account. You're not saving any money. And to me, I don't look at things as saving. I look at it as hedging, you know. And I kind of am uh, along the the schools of thought in terms of Robert Kiyosaki and his rich dad, poor dad. And I read the books, you know, and I kind of do feel that way too. I'm hedging instead of savings because savings, if you're saving cash, if you're saving fiat currency, it's going to get wiped out by inflation. So I'm hedging all of my money and I'm putting it in silver. Now, you know, is that the best savings account? You know, for me, I think it is. You know, and it goes up, it goes down, but it has consistently gone up throughout the years. Okay, and if you're going to save also, if I'm if I'm going to open up the savings account, I'm not going to keep $300. Okay, because cash is a currency. Okay? I have to continuously move it. So I'm parking it into things like silver. That is actual money. Okay. So, guys, I just want to get your opinions about that. I mean, I know I have cash. I keep cash on me. I don't bring a whole wad of cash in my pocket or in my wallet. But I do have cash, okay, just in case I need it. My wife and I, we do also have an emergency fund. Um, and also with my silver, I can cash it out if I wanted to. And, you know, just spend the money that I need to spend. Uh, if, if I really need it, I can always cash it out. Okay, so again, my, my silver is liquid. Um, it does go up, and it has, it can go down also. And then, but based on what I know, it's going to go up. And, you know, I'm getting something like 1.37% increase a day. I have that potential. And it could be it could be higher than this percentage. It could be lower. Okay, just depending on how the government's manipulating uh, the silver, but anyway, and that is my, that is why I really don't have a personal savings account. I can make more waiting for silver to go up, you know, than, than this, you know, and people, again, they're saying, oh, you can't, you know, you're going to be losing money if you park your money in silver. Of course I will. And, and depends on how you see it. Do you see silver as an investment or do you see it as like a savings vehicle? Some people on YouTube, they've cashed out their savings. And I mean, I'm sorry, they cashed out their their silver to buy stuff. And that's fine. That is their plan. That is their investment plan. Okay. And I will talk about investment plans um, in another video. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this. You know, today I made 1.37%. Uh, and so I didn't open a, a bank account. I just have it in cash right now, but I'm probably going to go buy some more ounces of silver. Okay, again, you know, silver is low. It's at 32. I bought it early this morning at 31.90. So you can see that it does fluctuate and it is starting to go up a bit. So I encourage you guys, get out there, get, get as much as you can. And... Uh, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, leave some comments. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and I got more coming. I've just been kind of busy, and I'm still trying to upload other videos. So uh, uh, just stay tuned. And uh, I'm trying a new format. I'm trying to you know do all the blogging. So I'm trying to get more info out there for you guys, so you guys can be uh, better informed. And I just want to help people. Hopefully th these videos are helping you guys out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Take care.